Well, experts think up to 50,000 people in our country are forced into slavery every year, victims of human traffickers. And when they are able to escape, yeah. often they have no place to go. Attorney and Denver 7 reporter Jessica Crawford joins us live this morning because there is a new safe house created by a group to help survivors get the skills they need to build their own life, which is not always easy. Yeah, it's not easy at all. And that safe house is in a secret location so that those survivors can be protected from people who might want to hurt them. While they're there, they can participate in a residential program that takes place between six to eight months. They can also receive counseling and even job training. But for them to get the justice they deserve, they're going to need your help. When a person escapes sex trafficking, there's often a bridge between the life they had and the life they want. Too many survivors have to walk that bridge alone. They just need a place to take a breath. Covered Colorado. This is Joanna Spilly is the founder of Covered Colorado. In January, the organization opened its first safe house for sex trafficking survivors, so those survivors don't have to walk into the next part of their lives alone. I think for a survivor to step into the safe house, um, it's meeting that basic need of safety. It's giving them a chance to breathe and think about what their next steps should be. For many survivors, sorting out their futures can be difficult when they're still unsure about their lives right now. I've seen them walk into programs that, that say, uh, well, what, well, what is it that you want to do? Well, we'll help you with some of these things. What do you want to do? And I think a lot of them go, I don't know. I, I haven't slept a full night um, in a very long time. Uh, the last time I ate was a few days ago. A lot of the survivors that Covered Colorado is still collecting donations to fill the house with items that will make it feel like home. As blankets such, such as, uh, you know, we provide everyone that comes into the house, we give them their own, you know, their own blanket. They get, I mean, they get their own, their own bed, new bedding, uh, all of that, new towels, um, new clothing, uh, coats. You know, many of them don't have the warm clothes that they need here in Colorado. But that's not all. The organization also offers life skill classes, pays for trade school and counseling. It even provides materials for some survivors to heal through art. This right here is the, the picture that uh, the survivor had, uh, their very first survivor had painted. I was able to just uh, ex um, express how I was feeling, but uh, people had like started donating art supplies to me and just encouraged me to like continue uh, healing until it became just like a, a gift that I was able to use. That's the voice of the first survivor who was supported by Covered Colorado. Her face is hidden for safety. She's come a long way since going through their program, now making money by selling her art online and using her talent to help others. I teach classes, uh, art classes to survivors sometimes and, and also like to, to other people too. In this segment, we explore the concept of justice and sometimes that's outside of the legal realm. So for the many survivors that you've helped get through that human trafficking journey, what has justice been for them? What does that look like? It's helping them uh, be able to uh, restore through counseling, restore through art, to get back on their feet, to uh, have a safe place to raise their children, um, be able to step into the life that was intended for them instead of what was stolen from them. Many of those survivors having a secret place to call their own for the first time in their lives and a community of support to help them cross that bridge into the next part of their journeys. And you can help fill the safe house with items for survivors. All you have to do is go to Denver7.com. There I've posted a web article with a link to how you can donate. Live from Denver, Jessica Crawford, Denver 7. Wow, amazing to hear Great the program. success yeah. story and the help that's out there. Thank you, Jessica.